hello good morning sunshine how you all doing this morning so in today's video i'll be comparing two best camera smartphones from the oppo brand i'm talking the oppo a92 and the oppo reno3 i'll be comparing them in every possible angle so you know which one suits you which quality should be or is the best so to help you make that purchase decision i'm so excited about this video and i'm also excited about 4,000 subscribers and this channel is very close so what are you waiting for out there please hit on that subscribe button just below your thumb thank you very much what do you think of the sound quality coming out from both devices do let me know in the comments below So this is the Oppo A92 device, a well-balanced mid-range smartphone from Oppo in 2020. And if I should say that this smartphone is an improved upgrade and a successor to the Oppo A9, it's obviously the truth. This phone is one of the most impressive smartphones released this year by Oppo. The design alone is quite mesmerizing and inspired by natural light. And one of the major things about this phone that I love is the comfortable hand grip. Despite looking like glass, it's not slippery at all. And also lightweight, it weighs about 192 grams and 8.9 mm in thickness. Honestly guys, the one thing that would definitely attract you to the Oppo A92 is the design. The natural color is so impressive and there's a whole lot more than just the design. The Oppo A92 is available at $290 or 109,900 in Naira. And this is the Oppo Reno3. Another mid-range smartphone that is well balanced, a good successor to the Reno2 of August 2019. The interesting thing about the Oppo Reno3 is the slim body design. At first, it gives you a regular phone first impression, but a closer look at this phone, it reveals more details. Yes, it is plastic built with a glossy premium design at the back. For me, the Oppo Reno3 design is quite impressive and matured. It weighs 170 grams with a thickness of 7.9 mm compared to the Oppo A92. It is very light to carry and also comfortable in your hand. This phone costs $393. Both devices have very good camera performances. And the best phone experience is when you have an optimum interaction with the smartphone, irrespective of the types, especially having to do with the camera. This is one major aspect you should always look out for. For me, I think it is the most criticized aspect of any smartphone. They both have a quad camera layout of 48 megapixel as the main camera lens. On the Reno3, it has a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth lens. While the A92 has an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth lens. So let's start with the video quality. If your primary reason of getting a smartphone includes video recording, and you're out there still trying to decide the right Oppo smartphone that suits you, if you're watching this video, on first impression, the Reno3 seems to have the job done well here. This is an outdoor video shot with natural light, and they both have the ability to shoot at 4K 30 frames per second, with an ultra steady stabilization feature that helps keep the shot looking smooth even when you're walking, or even if you have shaking hands. The picture quality of the Reno3 is more smooth than the A92, but they reproduce natural colors and it feels exactly the way your eyes see it. But there's something you need to understand for this comparison to make sense. Both camera lenses have the ability to identify every single object in a scene and make sure that each individually is correctly exposed. So can you possibly tell the difference looking at this footage? The Reno3 is really optimized and managed to give the green color. On the A92, the color green is less represented or lacking a bit and appears brighter than Reno3. But looking at this, there is absolutely no difference from each other. They both give you the same results at the time, especially when you take outdoor shots. It is the most favorable condition for either photo recording or photo taking. They also have slow-mo video recording feature for memorable shots, and you don't shoot at 4K in the slow-mo. They prefer the 1080p for more detailed recording, and you can easily spot the difference as well. The A92 is saturated with less exposure on its image, unlike the Reno3 image. You can still see her face with little fine details. So what do you think of both devices? Which one is impressive? Remember they are both 48 megapixel main camera lens. 
So looking at these two images, what's the difference? For me, it feels like taking the same photo twice with the same smartphone. There is no difference between them. And don't forget the Oppo Reno3 is $393 compared to the $290 of the Oppo A92. And they both have a quad camera layout that is so powerful. But do they have the same output performances? So looking carefully here, both images have good details with different definitions. They both manage to give actual skin tone but the Reno3 takes on natural look with good background details. On the A92, it is saturated and the background details look quite different. The Reno3 have accurate colors over the A92, maintaining the background color and subject color. The A92 is detailed but tends to shade off colors a bit. Another important thing I also discovered from both cameras is the consistency. Like these images, you can't possibly tell the difference, as they are both detailed and tend to give out the actual color just the way it is. Even when it comes to taking a portrait photo, the background blur is really impressive focusing on your targeted object. Yes, focus is really good and fast on both devices. And also not able to lose details in places like the sky. The sky is not blown out giving you realistic colors that are detailed. So moving on to the front camera of both devices. The Oppo Reno3 is a 44 megapixel lens over the 16 megapixel lens of the Oppo A92. And that alone is enough to tell you what to expect in their performances. They both lack a bit of sharpness in their images, but the Reno3 does better over the A92 in smoothing its images. The 16 megapixel camera is good and is not less performed to the Reno3. So guys, which camera would you choose to have the overall performance in this comparison? The Oppo A92 or the Oppo Reno3? And if you were to buy your next camera smartphone, what would be your choice? Is it the Reno3 or the Oppo A92? Or which smartphone do you have in mind? Please drop your comments down below. And guys, if you enjoyed this video or any other video from this channel, a sub will be massively appreciated. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.